Well, um, what we did for this concept is that we used quite an interesting insight um, that most South Africans who come from our locations would know. Um, generally, in, in our locations, you know, not every kid could afford a television or a video machine and if you really want to get extravagant to go to the movies. And what would usually happen is that whichever kid did get that privilege had the responsibility of coming back and sharing that movie and becoming that mouthpiece of the movie that he got to watch to all the other kids. So it was quite an interesting way that kids got to watch movies um, in, in our communities where one person would relay what they actually got to watch. So we used that insight to, you know, to talk about a young boy who's relaying the movie that he's watching or rather that he's watched. And as the story goes on, you actually get to find out that he's actually not talking about fiction at all. And therein lies the twist in the story. And yeah, um, we ended it off with quite a strong line that links it back to gender-based violence. Yeah, the performance was absolutely key. I think the performance had a lot to do with it, you know, sifting. You know, that's, it's, it's always one of the interesting things about Luri's, um, which I actually enjoy. It's, you know, sometimes you just, because Luri's generally, it's a secret ballot. You just, it, it's, it's, it's through that secret ballot that you really get to see how a piece of work affects people. And, and, and what was quite interesting is that I sat on, 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 on this panel and, and, you know, and we went through the work, etc. And I just think one of the things that was really, uh, you know, stand out about the piece is definitely the performance, the performance from the kids. Uh, it's difficult to get them to do this kind of thing. So I think the performance was really outstanding. But more than that, I also think that, you know, how everything was put together, it really does take your mind on a little bit of a journey using all the cues that you'd get from, you know, from a movie and, and from the kind of movie that would appeal to a child from a real action movie. So I just think the way that everything came together and then obviously the concept that holds it all together, I just think um, it was all these elements. Okay. I think that since this new voice um, category has started, all of the winners, I feel, have been winners that have been based on insights um, where language is but the tool, but the insights, most importantly, have been insights that only work within these languages. You know, it's this same story told in English would not have the same impact because this is not how those stories were told. If you look back at last year's winner, um, you know, that scenario between Donny and, and the lady would, would not really make sense in English because it, it's, it, it's not the context within which it happens. So I think, um, to me, that always remains a key criteria. Um, and I think this, pro this piece probably proves it. Even the piece, because we also got a silver for one of our other pieces for Tracker. Um, and I think even that also, you know, based on a very, very strong um, uh, cultural uh, scenario that you would only know if you are somebody who consumes or who speaks these languages. So I think to me that always remains something that's quite important. The thinking in vernacular languages is really, really starting to lift because people are starting to think conceptually. Um, and a lot of the stuff that you have that goes into this category now, although it doesn't have to flight, a lot of it actually does. And, and the stuff that goes in without flighting afterwards, as is the case, for instance, with this particular piece that we're speaking about, afterwards the client comes out and says, I actually want to flight this.